Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of our 2020 VGC Battle Series. My name's Lee, also known as Osiris. I hope you're all well. Hope you're all keeping safe, staying inside and um, doing things to not get yourself in vulnerable situations with what's going on in the world at the minute. But being serious for a moment, um, just make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves, making sure that you're staying safe uh, and just away from crowded areas at the minute. The world's in a bit of a crazy place um, and I worry about each and every one of you. So just make sure that you are taking care of yourselves. Um, I'm in quite a fortunate or unfortunate situation. Depends which way you look at it. I work in a hospital, so um, I'm kind of on the front lines of um, information and things like that. So um, I think we're at the tip of the iceberg. I really do uh, send all my best wishes to each and every one of you and uh, just make sure that you are taking care of yourself. Anyway, on to Pokemon. Because today we are going to be here playing the Colossal team. We started off with it earlier in the week. You can see I've made some... Slight adjustments to the team. We've got rid of the Bronzong. Now, the initial reason why we had the Bronzong in the team was I really wanted to get the skill swap kind of working. Switch the flash fire from the Colossal onto the Bronzong. Levitate onto the Colossal. Unfortunately, you can't skill swap a Dynamax Pokemon. I ran with the, the Bronzong anyway because Bronzong is generally a good Pokemon. But I feel like Dusclops is a bit more consistent so that's why we went with it here does the same role as what bronzong does it under speeds colossal which is really important to get that bulldoze off before we start chucking out moves activate that weakness policy it's a lot like how the riperia works but we've just got um, maybe a better typing not defensively of course and um, then we've got the grim style still we haven't changed that the conquer there is amazing and um, we've integrated in the corvic knight and then the gastrodon has stayed as well now i've done a bit of testing with the team and it feels like a lot better version of the team so at the end of the episode as i promised earlier in the week um there will be a rental team so stick around for that and um we'll have a couple of matches and then we'll um we'll get you guys that rental team to go in and test this team with i feel pretty happy to give out this rental team uh, like i mentioned earlier in the week uh, one of the things that i wanted to do was actually test the team out a little bit make some adjustments before i release the the rental team for you guys so we've got our first opponent of the episode they are playing a team of gengar togonamaru tyranitar bravery the clefairy and gyarados so um it's a pretty physical heavy team uh, outside of the Gengar. Everything else is really physical uh, hitting. Uh, Colossal does pretty well against the majority of the team as well. Like it can nuke the Gengar, the Togodomaru, Bravery, uh, the Clefairy and the Gyarados. We've got to be careful about the the, the bird and the Gyarados. Um, the, well, the, the fighting stab from the, the bird can do us some harm and the water type stab from Gyarados isn't going to be that great either so we do need to watch out for that I think Gastrodon here is going to be ex exceptionally good Um the redirection support from my opponent as well something we've got to worry about for sure Um but I think Gastrodon conquered a uh, dusk clops and a uh, colossal doesn't seem too bad to be honest and I'm pretty I'm pretty I'm pretty confident leading in this match with colossal as well Um I think the worst case scenario would be the bird coming out. Um, but it's not the worst thing in the world. We're not going to go down to a superpower or a max knuckle. That's for sure. So lock in. See how we get on. Um, and I think one of the things that I really like about this team is we're not really relying on what our opponent's doing. We've got like, and this is like a, a big thing that I always try to kind of get across to players. It's really hard to do. It's not an easy thing, but like when you're building, have a strategy in mind that you want to kind of be executing every game. It's a bit like Trick Room, okay? So like Trick Room, you know, that's the main prerogative of the team. So you, you, you do what you need to do to get your Trick Room up and then start sweeping. We've got a pretty similar kind of objective with this team and it doesn't really matter what our opponents do and yeah we have to be reactive at times but at the same time we've got a set kind of strategy that we need to follow um, and that's what we're kind of doing here I guess um, and it makes it a lot easier for myself because I know I'm, I've got my goals kind of set out very clearly in front of me um okay so we've got Tyranitar we've got Gengar coming up for my opponent it's not so great for uh Dusclops here and getting our trick room up but it does detract all attention from our colossal um if we lose dust clops it's not the 
best thing in the world, but I don't think it's going to matter too much. Now, we'll get rid of this Gengar. Um, first thing we're going to do. We're not going to see any Dynamax from my opponent's side of the field. They were the Dynamax before us. Um, so, we'll see what my opponent does. Worst case scenario, I think we see Taunt Crunch into the Dust Plops, or we see something like a Taunt into the Dust Plops. Um, we could see the Gengar try and reverse the Trick Room. Um, and then a big attack into Dusclops, but we'll see what my opponent goes for. Maybe just doubling down into Dusclops, Shadow Ball, and then a Crunch, um, which will definitely be enough. But I mean, it, this is my thing where it detracts attention. Oh, oh, it's that's risky. That is so risky. <laughs> detracts attention away from the, 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 the Colossal, which is our main kind of mode of the team. Now, if Dusclops here gets our Trick Room up, I don't think there's much coming back from my opponent. They don't really have much in their team that kind of cushions like the offensive pressure that we've got, especially with the rock kind of chip damage on top of that. There we go, Dusclops, come on, pulling it out the bag, not wanting that flinch from those rock slides, and I think that's what my opponent was going for, but they would have really been better off in that situation going for the crunch. Uh, whether or not they didn't go for it due to ally switch or something like that, I don't know, but um, or maybe a switching. Um, but, you know, I kind of explained my reasons why I wasn't really too concerned about the trick room not going up there. I think we've got enough support in the back to kind of get ourselves through this turn. As long as we get rid of the Gengar early on, uh, we've got Conkle down the back that we can bring in to deal with the, the Tita. Um, we've got Gastrodon. They can come in and help us out against the Gyarados. It's likely to come in. Um, so, I mean, we're not, we wouldn't be in the worst situation anyway. Um, and now, those like situations where we're switching things in, it's just creating room the whole time for Colossal to kind of do things. Now, I'm going to preserve Little Old. Oh, we didn't bring, why didn't we bring, why didn't we bring Conkledo? I'm sure I've misclicked there. Regardless of that, um, I'm going to bring in Gastrodon right now, and I'm going to go for another another big rock move into the Gyarados. I expect the Gyarados to uh, Mega Evolve. Uh, Mega Evolve? Where are we? <laughs> Generation 7 still. Uh, I expect it to Dynamax and go for the Max Geyser. Ooh, it actually doesn't. Just switching out. So it's just trying to get Intimidate cycling in. And I think that's a, a big thing that a lot of players kind of have a misconception that Colossal is going to be um, this kind of physical Pokemon rather than a special Pokemon if they're not too familiar with it but to the Intimidate support on our side of the field doesn't really matter I'm more special than anything else and we do have Cold Knight with the um, mirror arm in the back which does help us now a big rock type attack from Tyranitar here isn't going to be ideal and that's what I would imagine we'll probably see coming out from the Tyranitar uh, we've seen in past episodes um, <sighs> That causes all sorts of problems, and it's probably strong enough to pick up the knockout here. Oh, it's into Gastrodon. Ah, okay. Gives us a bit of room. Gives us a little bit of room. I'm a little bit sad that we haven't brought Conk, though, because I feel like Conk really in this... Um, against what we're going up against here is a lot better. Um, huh. Now do I switch in? I could double into Tita, you know. I just don't want to proc a weakness policy. That's the thing. I could go for a Scald. But the thing is, we're probably going to get... Um... I'm going to switch in Dusclops just to sack Dusclops. It's pretty much on its last legs anyway. I don't want to proc. I really don't want to proc the weakness policy on the, on the tar. I'm going to just get the sun up because it does help us a little bit more against the Gyarados when it comes back in. Um... I don't want to leave Gastrodon out on the field because I feel like if Titor does attack, it's probably going to go for a Dark type attack. Uh, Life Orb detecting. Uh, we did get the Max Flare off. Okay, so uh, that's fine. The only problem against Titor with this team, especially when we haven't brought the Conkledor when we really needed it, like Gastrodon Conkledor, I can't believe I've clicked into Corvin. It should still be alright. Is that the um, the Rock residual damage doesn't actually hit um oh, we survived that that's that's fine okay it doesn't actually affect rock types so tyranitar is kind of immune to that now the trick room is still up in effect uh we will lose unfortunately we're gonna lose dusclops here 
and we still have one more turn of Tito in its max form. Ah, okay, I think we bring in Castle again, and we can hard switch out to Corvo Knight. I think it might not be a bad idea. Because I think my opponent's prerogative has to be now to get rid of the Gastrodon. Hmm. We still have triple turns to take advantage of as well, which is the thing. I just don't want to lose Gastrodon at this stage. Um let's see how many turns of trick room we've got left. Okay, we got two. Okay, so that's not too bad. Um I don't think you use a warp type attack. If you do. Our best option is probably the Ancient Power into Gyarados. And Gyarados might protect here. But I think it's inevitable that we probably lose Colossal anyway. If we don't, then that's a massive bonus. And there's definitely an argument to say, would it be better just to leave Gastrodon in and attack? But <laughs> maybe not as well. Okay, well, we take down the Gyarados and one. Fell swoop as a max knuckle comes out. Tito trying to get itself powered up, which is which is fine. Um, but I think with the bird on the field now, we're gonna be alright. I think we're gonna be alright, and this is where the bird comes in handy. I mean, if it was Conkleda, <laughs> it would be so much easier. Literally, it would be so much easier. But we haven't got, we haven't got, um, I haven't got Conkleda, so we'll have to make do with the bird. Okay. I think we're all right. I think we're all right. Um, we'll try and get a bulk up off. We'll recover. We'll just get ourselves into a bit of a better position this turn. Um, we'll go for a recover. A bulk up and then a body press should be enough to take the T-Tar out. So. It's weird when Dusclops came out. I don't remember seeing an item unless it was the life orb on the T-Tar. But I don't believe it's been taking recoil damage. Unless I've just not been paying attention and just talking way too much anyway uh we do see the dragon dance come up from the t-tar it's actually going to outspeed up overnight now but the bulk up is going to help us massively uh we can just double down on the t-tar now we probably would have been better off really just doubling down on it the previous turn with a an earth power and a body press but either way i think rock slide flinch pending we should be all right wow Corvin Knight takes so much damage there. It is Life Orb, so we were actually... Oh, <laughs> what have we done? What have we done? What have we done? We would have been actually alright. Um, just double attacking. Yeah, we've been paying a bit more attention. And I think, generally, if I'm not recording, I would have been... We need Corv to, to, to pull through here. Come on. We do it! Come on! There we go. We get the win. We get the win. The big W to kick us off. A bit closer than it needed to be. And I'll admit that we've probably not kind of played it as cleanly as we, we should have. Um, like I said, there was uh, definitely areas where we could have just closed that out a lot quicker. So, um, never mind. Anyway, we got the win. So that's all that matters. That's all that matters. The result is all that matters, isn't it? Uh, to commemorate your hard work, please take this big nugget. Okay, thank you for that. Um, we get the ribbon as well, which is very nice. And we will continue. So we'll see where our rank's going to go. So um, streaming this week, uh, unfortunately, due to work um, and things like that. Why is my encoder being really really weird okay i hope the recording's all right um yeah i've just not had the time to actually record this week which has been a little bit of a shame um sorry stream this week but hopefully starting next week we'll be back onto a better schedule and um tuesday we'll be streaming this team unless i make a few little tweaks to it maybe not um and see how high we can get on the ladder so that's the the goal with it but we've got darcy up next um playing gyarados Tito, that pairing again. We've got the Mammoth Swine, the Sylvian Conkledur, and the Rotom Mole. So a little bit of a different call. It's no obvious speed control from my opponent's side of the field other than the Gyarados. Probably going for um, this Max Airstream. So I think, like, honestly, Trick Room here is not bad. We've got to watch out for Max um, Conk. I think Corvig Knight's quite good here. And hmm. Gyarados, again, causing me a few issues. 
But I think Gastrodon's not bad. We just need to be very careful around uh, the Rotom. Uh, we're putting a lot of kind of responsibility onto Corvo Knight here, but Corvo Knight really is in the team to help us out against, in particular, uh, the Concluder and Sylvian. Uh, it doesn't do too bad against Mamoswine and Titar either. Um, need to be a bit careful around the Rotom, of course, but um, I think we've got ways to kind of do all that. So we'll go with the same four again, but we're picking the actual four that we were meant to pick last time. So let's see. I don't know what's going on with my OBS, but it was glitching out. It is glitching out still, so I hope the recording actually comes out all right. I'm praying that it comes out all right. Um, I don't know why it's doing this, actually. It's never done this before, but we'll see. Something must be going on in the background. I'm going to just try and close my web browser here and see if that does anything. Okay, so we've got Sylvian and we've got Gyarados. Um, hmm. Now, 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 what do we do? We definitely want a trick room for sure. Um, the thing is, I probably, I don't really want to just protect because I think we're just prime max guy, like max geyser bait. If I max and max god, then we're wasting a turn of a dynamax turn, but it might be just enough, like it might be enough what we need to do. Um, It's tough though, it's, it really is tough. I'm gonna get the trick room up, regardless. Let's try. Then I'm gonna go on max guard. Okay. Oh, we're just wasting turns. Conk's coming in. Well, it's still not the end of the world. It's still alright. Depends what kind of build this Conkledur is as well, and whether or not it maxes. We're gonna see the Sylvian probably go for a hyper voice. Um, Dusclops doesn't worry about that too much. It's annoying when a turn like plays out like this because it's like logic behind it, but it's very it's passive at the same time, and it's allowing our opponent to kind of come back into the game. Okay, you stuck on fire. Ha! Huh. That your best option? It's strange. I don't know if we need to actually set up. A... Do we want to proc our weakness policy? Okay, it's good. Good, good conkleder. I think we do want to proc our weakness policy. And we probably want to go for a max flare into the Conkledur and hope that it doesn't max itself and then that will be enough to get it. Yeah, I think with a weakness policy boost. Sun's not up, but Conkledur not maxing here, we might be able to actually nab the knockout. And if we can, that's pretty big for us. So, let's see. Yeah, okay. So conk down. This should pave the way for us to do some nice things. Because the thing is, the problem is, we've only got one more turn of our, um, our Dynamax. <laughs> What's this Sylveon doing? Why are, you, why are you attacking me? I've got Flash Fire. And even if I hadn't, I'm a Rock Fire type. I'm like four times. I'm like a hundred times resistant. Stop doing this. <laughs> so the Gyarados coming back in. Okay. Um, let's just pull that cheeky ally switch. Uh, G-Max. Rock or Volcanith or however we're pronouncing it. Um, we'll do that into the Gyarados. And with our last kind of max turn, um, we'll, we'll get our signature attack off, which starts the chip damage. It's never really ideal when you're playing this sort of... Um, Gigantic Max Colossal, you really want to be getting that, that kind of the rock signature attack off first, so you're kind of stacking up the, the residual damage. It's a bit like when you play G Max Charizard, you want to get the um, the G Max Fire move off first. I should really swat up on my G Max moves because I have no, no real idea about um, what they really are. Gyarados, even if it goes for a Max Geyser here, I think we're going to be alright. Um, it's going to get the rain up, of course, but I mean, we get this attack off and I think an Ancient Power will be enough after this. And the, the Max Geyser shouldn't be enough if they target correctly to take us down. So we'll see what my opponent does. If they can get through this turn, which they probably will. 
Wow. <laughs> so much damage. So much damage. Even Max Gyarados. It's going to go down to the residual. There's another Mystic Fire. I guess we are um, Flash Fire boosted as well. So that does help. And Dusclops eating that up like... Like it's a cookie. Just bring it on, Gyarados. Bring it on. The rain starts and then the, the the chip damage starts with these rock throws. So, Gyarados. Oh, barely hanging on. Okay, well, it's fine, like I say. Um, even a heat wave at this point will take down the Gyarados. We're not going to risk that, though, are we? Um, no, we'll go for an Ancient Power into the Sylveon. It's really not causing me any issues at the minute. We'll go for a Nightshade into the Gyarados just to get rid of it and deny it any any sort of damage onto a, a lovely coal monster volcano colossal thing that we've got going on so okay there's a max guard just stalling out or trying to stall out these trick room tins. what would be beautiful here if we got the 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 the, the, uh, the boost from uh engine power which i've not had yet but i would like to get that at some point that would be even even more disgusting than this team already is but we haven't really got to feature well i guess we got to feature the core knight which is nice uh gyarados yeah that's a problem like max garden i mean kind of just delaying the inevitable with this g max colossal is so underrated though i think it's so good as a trick room sweeper i think it's incredible like i would highly recommend like everyone trying it out it's so effective uh, and this team feels really fluid as well so um we do see the rotom come in hit the field uh but we'll just even in the rain we're gonna go for these heat waves still should be doing like a good 50 percent with all the flash fire boosts we've had and um the weakness policy It'd be amazing if we KO'd this rotom wouldn't it <laughs> Oh, Colossus. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. The ridiculous, like, souped up Colossal. <laughs> okay, well, the Rotom and the Sylveon, probably that's the end of both of them. So, this is like one of the quickest matches in history, but, um, I mean, just showing the, the sheer power of the team, if you can kind of get going with it, um, it's quite hard to stop. Especially when you haven't got the right tools to kind of deal with it. But uh, fair play to my opponent. They've done all the right things that they kind of had to do with um, maybe the wrong tool set there. But very good game to Darcy. Always pleasure to play you. And um, that's two wins for us today, friends. So we finish off the week on like a, an amazing high. Like I said, what we're going to do with the team, I'm going to give you the rental code now. Um, so stick around for that. And um, what we are going to do... Actually, what we'll do, let's just let's just see where our ranking's taking us now. Because I really feel like we can rank pretty high on the ladder with this team. Um, see where we are. Come on. That's not bad. That's not bad. Under 500. It's not bad. It's not brilliant. But it's not bad. We're getting there. But I do feel like we could easily get to top 10 with this team. There's a challenge for us. So, if you're around next Tuesday, 7pm, come over to my Twitch channel. It's linked down in the description. We'll be kicking off and we're going to see how high we can get this. And if we do well Tuesday, we'll continue that on next Thursday as well. Right, now on to the important things for you, my friends. Uh, we need to create a rental team, don't we? I think we need to delete a previous one. It's a shame that you can't create more than six at a time. Um, manage teams to share. Right, which one are we gonna boot? We've got Durant, Lapras, Eskew, or oh, Ice Cube, one of my favorite ones. Inteleon, another favorite one of mine. There's a very common theme running through these teams, a lot of trick room. Um, which one are we gonna. I can't get rid of the Lapras one. The Lapras one's great. Let's get rid of Durant. Uh, don't make public, yeah. Yeah, get rid of number one. We'll put the number one team where it belongs in number one. Okay, come on. Right. You select a battle team. Right, which one is it? It's the one with the bird. So, let's make it public. And there you are, my friends. If you try it out, please let me know how you get on with it. Um, it might, may take a little bit of getting used to. 
Um, and there's definitely a set like mentality that you need to get into to, to use this team. But it is very solid once you've had a few games with it, once you're comfortable with it. And it's got a great mod. So there is the code. Here is an overview of the team. You can see we've got the Dust Clubs, the Grim Snarl. Grim Snarl's great as well. Honestly, that trick eject button is amazing. So if you've got Dust Clubs, Grim Snarl, you expect something to, to Dynamax, Gmax on that side of the field. Just swap it over. You don't even need to worry about hitting it that turn. Uh, then the next turn, once you've got your Trick Room up, you switch in your Colossal. Bulldoze, get rid of the Dynamax, Gmax Pokemon and set your Colossal up at the same time. It's very fluid in how that mode can work. Anyway, I'm going to stop rabbiting on. I'm just going to say thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. I've had a lot of fun. Um, and I again, I, my thoughts are with you all. I hope you stay safe. And uh, I'll see you next week uh, with, a, uh, with another brand new team uh, in this VGC Series 3 format. Um, do come along to the streams next week as well. And uh, I'll see you next Tuesday for another episode of this series. And we'll probably have some news updates in between then. So take care of yourselves, my friends. I will speak to you all very soon. And uh, until then, take care and bye-bye.